Hello everyone. Welcome to our next video. This is how to make a lid on your form, uh, your tripod vessel. So a uh, couple things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some fresh clay. I already rolled mine into a little slab that's about the same thickness as my form here. We're gonna need a loop tool, a pencil, um, and potentially some kind of form to drape your lid over, depending on what you're looking for. So most of the lids that you wanna make for this type of form will have a little bit of a curve to it. So this one has a large curve. It could be more subtle than that, but you wouldn't really want a straight edge, typically like something that goes straight across just because the form has this natural curve to it. Uh, if you did want a straight across one, just let me know and I can show you there's a little bit of a variation. Maybe I can even show you in this. Um, you're also gonna want one of these trimming wheels. So we have these in the classroom. You can use them at any time. You put your piece in the center of the uh, wheel. There are usually some rings that kind of help you find the center. Uh, and the reason for that is we have to draw a line on the inside, just about a half inch down. So I'm gonna work on that now. And you're trying to hold your hand as steady as possible. We want a really nice straight line that goes around. This is gonna be our ledge that our, li our lid will sit on. Okay, I'm gonna go over mine a few times just to make sure that I'm getting it as straight as possible, trying to hold that pencil as still as possible. And you can see it right on that inside ledge. So we need to make this into a ledge so that when we put our lid on it, it will sit down in and it will get stuck in that spot. So using your loop tool is really helpful. Um, I'm gonna use it in this way. So I have a basically a straight uh, up and down vertical line, and then I've got a corner here. So I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm just slowly cutting right on that line. It's okay if it's not perfect, but we're just trying to cut in maybe about half the depth of the clay. It's okay if you cut anything above the line because you really wanna get some of that extra clay out. And we just want a sharp edge right at the line. Okay, so it is a slow process. If you see places where you made a mistake, you can always add a little bit of more clay, um, but really just take your time with it because the, the neater it is, the easier the next steps will be. So you can see my line is starting to form. I'm gonna to wanna to take a lot of the clay away above that so it won't get in the way. And you're gonna want it to really feel like a little ledge. So I'll kind of cut on this one side and show you the depth that you really want. I find that continuing to turn it is a really nice way to go um, as you're cutting, because it makes it more consistent. But just for the sake of the video and showing you what we need, I'm gonna just work on one side here. So you can see I keep wiping away my tool too. It's just kind of keeping it from getting a lot of the um, little crusties on the inside. All right, I'm almost done here. Just wiping away a little bit more of the excess clay. All right, so now you can see that a little bit better. There's a nice thick ledge there. Um, I would probably go just a little bit um, deeper just so that I have even more of a ledge. But you get the basic idea. I have a line around with um, a little bit of a ledge. Now, my clay. I need to get it to sit in here and have that little bit of a curve. So to start with, I'm gonna use something round that is bigger than my form. Okay, so in this case, I'm choosing the outside shape of the masking tape. And while this slab is really soft, I'm just setting it on and I'm going to trace that circle and cut it out you could use your knife tool for this. For round things, I like to use my needle tool. Okay, now I have a nice disc, still too big. All right, so I have some choices. I can start actually just creating that curve by pressing it down in. I can do the same thing loosely in my hands, or I can use something that has a curve that I like uh, and place it on there. The only issue is if I stick this clay to this glass jar that has a little old slip in it, it will get stuck and I will not get it off again. So if you are gonna do that, you wanna take something like newspaper, like a plastic bag, something that you can use uh, instead of putting it directly on. So I'm gonna use a plastic bag, just what I have here. 
Gonna wrap it as tightly as possible. And now I'm gonna set my slab right on there. Oh, sorry. Okay, now this might still not be the correct size. I won't really know until it's leather hard and I can start to shape it. So I could also just hold it up and see that I'm definitely gonna be cutting a little bit more off of this. Um, but in the meantime, to kind of get it ready and prep it, I can take and smooth out using my uh, sponge and that way it'll just kind of be a little bit neater when it comes to the next step. So I'd wait till this gets leather hard and then I can use a tool like a planer or I can even draw and cut parts off until I perfectly fit it so that it'll sit right on that inside ledge. It takes a lot of practice to kind of get it the way that you want, but those are the basics of how you'd make a lid. And then the last part that you wanna consider is creating some kind of handle, some kind of, it's called a finial that goes on top. Just like the handle that would go on the side, you don't want something that's barely attached. So this has very few attachment places you'd instead wanna make something that has a really strong connection so that when you lift it up, it really holds. All right, so that's the basics of making a lid. Good luck, I'm excited to see what you do.